Blog Talk Radio. This is the EWN Radio Network. Welcome to Thriving Entrepreneur with your host, Steve Kidd, third generation minister and business coach. Join Steve and his guests to get answers to your questions and help break through to the next level in your business. Hi, this is Steve, and welcome to another exciting episode of Thriving Entrepreneur. Today, I am delighted to bring to you some people that are going to increase the abundance in your life and in your business. They're going to help you take it up to the next level. I'm really delighted to bring you this extended 90-minute episode of Thriving Entrepreneur, brought to you, of course, by our sponsor, the VTech 4-Line Phone System. That's a four-line phone system for small businesses that allows you the ability as the business owner to grow your company at whatever level you want to and have the phone line things that you need in order to be able to really truly sound like a good and professional company. I'm talking about things like custom auto attendants that allow you the ability to have a voice answer the phone in a professional manner and talk to people um, as they are then selecting which extension they need to go to. Um, The ability to expand to multiple extensions and actually have the ability as easily as plugging in a lamp to go ahead and go from one phone to two phones all the way up to 10 complete separate extension lines. Well, I should say 10 complete separate phones with a multitude of extensions that you can actually have uh, tying into those phones. I urge you to check out our sponsor, the VTech four-line small business phone system. As I said, thanks for joining us today. We are delighted to bring to you some of the best and brightest in the eWomen community that are reaching out to you from their place of abundance and experience to talk to you about how you can thrive in your life and business. I'm delighted to be joined first off by a good friend of ours from Seattle, Carol Stanley. Carol is going to talk to you about the most important things in your life and what you need to look at in order to live every day as a thriving entrepreneur. So listen in to this interview that I did with Carol as we talk to you about living a life of abundance. So today I'm delighted to be joined by Carol Stanley. Carol is going to talk to us today about speaking with ease and about how to live out our life with purpose. You know, that's something that I'm really passionate about is living with purpose. So join me in welcoming Carol Stanley. Hi, Carol. How are you today? I am great, Steve. How are you? I'm doing so good. I, I just awesome. love being able to get to talk to folks like yourself over the over the radio and really find out about them. So let's dive right into it. Um, tell us a little bit about you. What got you to this point in your life? Well, Steve, I tell you, I was a kid who popped out of the womb entertaining people. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I have been an entertainer for years, meaning... I have done tremendous numbers and amounts of singing, dancing, speaking, you name it. But I've done it on uh, in movies. I've done it on a lot on stage. I've played a lot of Broadway musical leads, uh, leads in local Broadway um, in Phoenix, Arizona, as well as Seattle. And uh, I certainly, <laughs> I've had my own radio show like you. I've had uh, I've modeled professionally for years have been a professional singer and recording artist for many years. And I just love, love, love the industry. So how this all came about for me, when, way back when I was um, just coming out, of, coming out of college, I knew that down deep I wanted marriage, family, and that was first for me, serving God, you know, having my family. But I knew that being on stage – and doing all of the work that I loved doing was going to potentially take me away from being the best wife and mom possible. Mm-hmm. So I made a decision way back when that 
I would teach. I would coach. I was given some wonderful opportunities in college to direct and teach the um, concert choir, which was really kind of a miracle because, you know, you sit on the block and the director turned it over to me. He saw something in me, which I so thank God for those mentors in my life. And I, in turn, want to be those that mentor to people. But anyway, so how I wound up at this stage in my life, I still perform, I still record, but I love bringing the best out of other people. I love helping them get where they want to go and be of excellence doing it. Just floats my boat big. <laughs> mm. That's awesome. I-, I love it when a person takes, um, you know, real life and then finds a way to live their passion within it. You know what I mean? So often... I think I, I hear all too often from people, you know, it's, I'd like to do it, but I can't because, you know. Oh, and, I know it, yes. Um, you know, I was a single parent for, of five for about five years, and, and I know how challenging, you know, being a parent is, whether you're by yourself or you have a partner. Um, right. But we still have to live our own lives, and it's real easy for, especially moms, um, you know, to really get lost in that and and, and have no personal identity uh, because of how passionate they are about being a mom. So um, I I admire you for for finding a way to live your life with passion in the midst of living your life. Well, you know what, Steve? I've always believed in having your cake and eating it, too. And, And you know what? In my life... The Lord has really helped me do that. He truly has, and I so give him glory for that because um, the passion in my heart really comes down to loving people and uh, living out that, that passion to ser- really truly serve people. And that's, that, that's what drives me, and that's what gives me the ability to have my cake and eat it too. You know, I've always figured out a way to direct women's groups and, and, and you know, I, years ago, i got to tell you this quick story. Years ago, I was directing a group of wives and moms, and I took them down to Seattle Center. I turned them into an incredible performance group. I mean, singing, dancing, the whole nine yards, right? So we, I took them down to Seattle Center, worked with the union guys, set the whole show, did the show, tore the show down, and... I tell you, to see those women transform, knowing there was more inside of them, they became better moms. They became better wives because they were fulfilling this other side of themselves during this process of being becoming a, a show performer, right? Mm. And it was so fun to see that happen. It just stoked my fire big time. And I was able to go to Fifth Avenue and, you know, uh, different people have hired me to do lights and, and do the show at Fifth Avenue for them. But it's so, so rewarding to see other people shine like I know they can. Yeah. So, and I love using this example um, with with that kind of a concept of te- of a teaching moment with somebody. If you were stuck yes. in a big elevator, um, it'd have to be a really huge building, you know, like a couple hundred stories or something. Um, and a person says to you on the ground floor, "I'm going all the way to the top." Um, you know, how can you tell me how to live a life of excellence? What would you share with them in that couple of minutes, two, three minutes of going up to the top uh, about living their life with excellence? You know what I would tell them first and foremost? Because we're in this elevator and we don't know what our outcome is going to be. We have a huge hope, but we don't know what our outcome is. Is First of all, to be honest with you, Steve, I would share the power and the presence of God through knowing Jesus Christ. That is number one because that will take you where you want to go, having God with your, having your back for you, being in you, having your back, he will take you where, he will take you where your heart leads you, and you will bless tons of people in the process. That's the first thing I would tell them. The second thing is to really think clearly about what they would do if nothing could stop them. You know, if nothing in the world could stop them, what would be their number one primary passion and goal because therein lies their purpose and so i would help them discover that and then um if we weren't at the top yet (laughs) i would help them with the steps in that process yeah so um you know when you're talking with that person 
And mm-hmm. I hear it so often. I'm sure you've heard it before, too. A person a lot of times finds themselves saying, well, I'm not sure that I know what my purpose, what my passion is. How do, how do you help a person find out what their, what their purpose is, what they're here for? Okay. Something that I feel very strongly about is helping them know who they are. Uh, we go through life thinking we are somebody's daughter or son. We go through life thinking that we are somebody's, you know, wife or partner. We go through life thinking we are the parent of, uh, the sister brother of, et cetera, and, and our career title. And we, we kind of can lose ourselves in the process of who we are down deep. So that's the first step is finding out who they really are. And then the next step is what did you love doing as a kid? What did, what was your passion as a kid? You know, what was, what just, you know, you would, it was never work. It was always just fun and play and you had a ball doing it. And if you had your way, you would do it the rest of your life. What were those things that you love, love, love doing as a child? Because you get some really big clues from examining who you were as a child, who you are, who you were as a child. You know, what, what, again, what drove you then? Because down deep, adulthood has a way of pushing those things down to where we, we lose sight of them. And truly, our, our passion and our purpose, we can look back at that and start to get a clue as to where God has led us and where we're really to move forward and be happier than we've ever been, you know? <laughs> yeah, our good yeah. friend uh, Jessica Butts, Butts, you know, was talking on the show just a, a little bit ago about um, how who we are as a person is innate in us. You know, it's, it's yes, who we're it born to be. Um, yes, and I know that listeners of our show have, uh, have heard me say many times that you were created for a purpose. You know, you're not here on accident. There aren't anybody no. that's on the planet just because there's too much oxygen and we need to keep the oxygen levels down, you know. Um, right. In fact, Steve, what, yeah, I like Jessica. She is, uh, certainly works with the um, Myers-Briggs, but I have been a personality trainer for years as well with some other, uh, you know, what, profile uh, instruction. And the thing is, is I always help a person understand. In fact, I use CRG. I use the uh, personal uh, style indicator out of CRG in Canada because it is really, really accurate and very simple. Uh, many Myers-Briggs people actually have come over to that system because of it. Uh, it, it actually it, it gives you percentages of who you are, and so it really helps you get who you are because you tell it, of course, who you are. But it it feeds it back to you in a way to go, wow. And then I've always re- uh, reverse engineered that with my clients because what's important about being a speaker or a singer, because I've worked with singers for years, is you gotta you gotta speak to all four quadrants in that audience. You gotta you gotta touch every single need, and it's pretty simple, but you gotta you gotta cover the bases. And um, so that becomes a really important piece. You bet knowing who you are, how you popped out of the womb. Yes, there are influencers in your life, but how you pop out basically with your personal style or your personality is who you are the whole your whole life through, really. There's a strong thread that is you, that is you, that is you. Yeah. Hmm. That's so important for us to know. I, I, yes. I think the other side of that coin is, is a lot of people get comfortable with, just going through the day-to-day. You know, there are so many things in our life that oh. are routine, um, especially yes. as parents. You know, I mean, it's easy for days, weeks, months, years to go by um, without purpose. Uh, what happens to us if we don't live out every day with our purpose? You know what, Steve? I I tell you, <laughs> I am a driven person when it comes to that because I – do not want to be one of those people that dies with the music still in me. In other words, I don't want to. I don't want to pass from this earth without fulfilling why God put me here. And the cost is so great to us if we don't uh, fulfill. Sing our song. You know what? What does make your heart sing? Mm-hmm. You know, and and it doesn't have to be singing, if you will. But what makes your heart come alive? What makes your heart because you don't want to pass from this earth with all of that that incredible light in you 
snuffed out before it's had a chance to really bless other people and serve and make this world a better place. And I think that, in a nutshell, really is the best and most important part of it is, is it was never about us. I I love, and I don't remember who even the first person I heard say it, but I do remember recently I heard Lisa Nichols say it, um, and I love that concept of really taking hold of the fact that it's not about you. Um, That's right, and that's, yeah, that's a key tenet to good speaking. It can never be about you. Um, Finding the sweet spot of your voice, Steve, I feel so strongly about this, finding the sweet spot of your voice, whether you're a speaker or a singer, is being open in your mind energy, meaning that you are focused on the gift you came to bring them. You are a gift to them. And the gift you came to bring them, when your head is in that space, Boy, you open up. The other piece is open voice. So there's, uh, I come from a physiological standpoint when I work with voice because it totally transforms a person and moves them down the road so much faster than traditional voice work. And so it's open voice and open body. How you, how you present yourself, how you stand, how you, uh, interact, how you connect. Connection is huge and it's, uh, it's one of the key prime elements I teach, but how to connect, really connect with your audience and and give them that gift. So they're leaning forward. They can't wait to have more of you, right? That, to me, is the epitome. I love, love, love it. And that's ultimately what we're here for is to connect with other people um, and to yes. be part of our society. Well, Carol um, – I know that I would like to hear more, and I'm sure that the listeners would like to know, okay, great, Carol, teach me. Uh, teach me how to be a better speaker. Teach me how to live with purpose. What can a person do to um, find out more about you and, and, and get some of your training? Well, I tell you, they can go to uh, Carol Stanley, C-A-R-O-L-S-T-A-N-L-E-Y dot org, And go to products and then courses, and what will happen is you can see and get some detailed information about the uh, course. I I have taught privately, you know, and coached privately for years, but I know that I want to serve more people, and I love, uh, if you will, doing online and and coaching over the phone. So I have developed an, uh, well, I'm going to say an online course, home learning course, if you will, with coach support called Speak with Ease. And it is just a wonderful, in-depth, but fun way to go through uh, the elements that are so important and help a person understand. And then on top of that, you know, you need to be coached. So we have these wonderful coaching calls where you can ask questions. Where And then, too, I do one-on-one with you. Uh, I always bonus some one-on-one in on that because I know – that it requires it for you to really step into your excellence. So anyway, that's available to people, and it doesn't matter where in the world you are. You can tap in, and we can work together, and it's extremely uh, affordable. There's payment options and, and the whole nine yards. And I do have a kind of a deal going right now where it's um, $1,000 off. You know, it's normally 297 and it's 197 full pay, or 397 a month for six months. So it's pretty reasonable and uh, certainly better than um, one-on-one private because my, my rates are private higher than that. So at any rate, um, it's a wonderful opportunity to, for us to connect for me to really be your friend, your mentor, and lift you to the place you want to go and the place you want to be. And so that's carolstanley.org. And from there, mm-hmm. go to the products page and under it's, courses. Yeah, products, uh-huh, and then you'll see courses, events, and so forth. And I have a local Seattle event coming up September 10th, and you'll see that. But you'll see you'll see what I offer. And, the, um, uh, and anyone that, that signs up, like in the next month, we'll get bonus in free the three day live event retreat. So that's pretty, pretty special. So I'm certainly willing to do that for people that sign up uh, in the next month through your show. Yeah. That's very exciting. Well, Carol, um, we like to always leave people 
with something that they can take action on right now, like today, this week at the very latest, what is the uh, what is what are some things that a person could do to be in action right now? You know, find a spot where you can be just really quiet by yourself. Uh, and perhaps, you know, be able to look out at nature or be in the middle of nature because it's such a, a great creative place to be and start to journal down what you loved as a child, what makes your heart sing today. If nothing could stop you, what would you do, be, and have today? Mostly what would you want to give back? Uh, what, what can you serve with? Again, what makes your heart sing? What brings you alive? Journal those things so that you, you'll feel an excitement in your heart. Uh, it's, it's a powerful, wonderful thing to do. Be grateful in the process. You know, write at least three things you're grateful for. Happiness comes out of your gratefulness. You're doing kindnesses to other people. You're your prayer or meditation, it comes out of walking, it comes out of, you know, it comes out of doing kindnesses for other people. So just sit and be quiet and journal what makes your heart sing and feel the gratitude and feel the graciousness and the excitement that God's put in you that he had in you as a little kid. It is so cool to get in touch with that. So that's what I would say, Steve. Absolutely. I, I love that. I encourage everybody Take the time out to uh, really write it down. And, you know, there's a statistic mm -hmm. that shows that the people who write down those types of things, they remember something like 80% more of the information. And since, in general, um, you know, things that we remember is only at about 7%, that's the difference of remembering 7% versus the difference of remembering 2% um, of the information. And so yes. especially when we're, uh, you know, living with purpose and, and talking about purpose for our life, it's very important that we really write those things down so that they become really know, locked into our yes. memory. And, Steve, something else that will ramp it up, another huge percentage is action. So <clears throat> write, write them down, then take action. You know, do something like call me. I'll just talk with you free of charge, and we'll just discuss. And, and, and you know, I can be – if I can be of encouragement to you and help you figure out where you want to go, oh, wow, that's what, that's what drives my train. So please feel free. And, um, Steve, my, you, do you have my number? If not, I'll give it to you right now. Um, I – go ahead. It's 25 – okay, it's 253. I'll give you my cell. It's 253-951-3879. And you can just text me. I can call you right back. We can just have a little chat. And, again, just to lift you and encourage you. So it's 253-951-3879, carolstanley.org. God bless you guys. Thanks so much, Carol. I really appreciate you taking the time. And I encourage everybody, check out carolstanley.org. I mean, what a rare opportunity. She's actually even willing to take and do a free call with you and help you out. Thank you so much for spending Absolutely. the time with us today, Carol. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Steve. I so appreciate you and your beautiful wife. I so appreciate you. And you know what? I got to meet your daughter and interact with her a little more, and she's a doll. I love yeah. her. She's great. Yeah, yeah, it was fun to get to have her at conference with us. It was. It was just awesome. So thank you again so very much. Deeply appreciate you, my friend. Yeah. And uh, so, yes, until, until we meet again. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, Carol. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Steve. Thanks, Carol. I really do appreciate you joining us and talking to the audience about how important it is to live the purpose that you were put on this planet, to live that out fully and completely. And I encourage each of you, you know, Carol even gave us her phone number so that you can directly call her as your action step if that's one of the things you want to do. I encourage you to check out carolstanley.org and her many great products that she has with you, including 
how to really truly shine and live with your voice to the people that you were sent here on this planet to talk to. We're going to take a quick commercial break, and then we will be right back. I'm looking for a certain kind of woman, and I think you know her. She's an entrepreneur that is highly connected, successful, significant in her own industry, and considered the go-to woman in her community. She's received so much from so many women in business, she's ready to give back to others on their journey, lifting as she climbs. Hi, this is Sandra Yancey, and I'm the founder and CEO of eWomen Network. I'm looking to connect with the woman I've just described who lives in your community so that we might have a conversation about how eWomen Network's proven success system can provide her a platform to elevate her success and ability to support women in business. Our international community of managing directors are influencing the speed of success for women in business around the world. If that sounds like something that you want to be part of or know someone we should talk with, send an email to managingdirector at eWomenNetwork.com. That's managingdirector at eWomenNetwork.com. And let's start the conversation. Are you ready to be a celebrity expert in your field? Are you your own best kept secret? Do you have talents you want to share with the world? Are you ready to be seen as an authority? Do you have a message you need to share with the world? You know to your core you can help people. If you could just reach them, Kathy and I want to help you share your unique brilliance with the world. Are you ready for this? How would you like to be recognized on top media outlets? What would becoming an Amazon bestseller do for your business? How many people could you inspire? And it doesn't take a lifetime. It doesn't take years. It doesn't take months. In fact, in just 60 minutes, you will become a celebrity expert in your field. In 30 days, you will be a best-selling author, and you will be seen on NBC, CBS, ABC, CNN, Fox, and the Wall Street Journal. How does this work? Will you be interviewed on our show, Thriving Entrepreneur, which will then be broadcast on Blog Talk Radio, iTunes, Stitcher, and many others, as well as promoted to a network that has a database of over 500,000 people. Your expert interview will be published published in your very own book, which is guaranteed to hit best-selling author status on Amazon. Your name and the book title will appear in major media outlets, including ABC, NBC, Fox, CNN. We can guarantee that. Plus, as a bonus, you'll get a custom social media package to promote your book and an mp3 of your interview with five key tips on how you can repurpose the content for marketing and sales. Don't be the best kept secret. Get ready to play an A game and be the authority in your field. Go to wehelpyouthrive.com and click on the authority package to get yours today. This is the EWN Radio Network. You've heard me talk to you about it before, but I want to talk to you again about the VTech four-line small business phone system. I've told you a lot of technical things about it, but I do like to take some time to talk to you about the practicality and the usability that VTech has brought to you about this. Often as you know, somebody that's really into technology, I tell you all these cool things about auto attendance and stuff, but I want to talk to you about something really simple, really basic, and really easy. How many phones can you imagine needing in your company? Is it one right now? Is it always going to be that size? Or do you expect that your company is going to grow? Do you know how to plug in a light bulb? I mean, seriously, if you know how to plug in a lamp, you can literally go to another phone line in your company. I encourage you to check out the VTech Four Lines Small Business Phone System. Welcome back to Thriving Entrepreneur. This is Steve. Thank you so much for listening. 
We hope that you got a lot of great information from Carol. And now we're going to bring to you another superstar that wants to shine his brilliance to you. His name is Ash Shukla, and Ash is an expert at helping you live a balanced financial life, not just, um, you know, to have some money or to grow some wealth, but to live a life of abundance. He, in fact, actually says that he wants to take you on your tranquil path to financial nirvana. And by that, he means whatever abundance is for you. So I encourage you, get out a pen and paper and write down some notes. Here is Ash Shukla talking to us about living abundantly in our finances. I am pleased to be joined by Ash Shukla. Um, he is a financial advisor that has taken the concept of your finances and actually moved them so that you can holistically live a whole life with financial uh, abundance in all that you do. Uh, I'm so glad that you took this time to join with us today, Ash. Uh, thanks for coming. Thank you so much for having me. So, Ash... Uh, I love this concept that you uh, have created called financial chakras. Tell us a little bit about your background and how you uh, came up with this concept. Okay, so um, I came up with the concept, uh, and I came here uh, originally from India in 1989 with uh, $20 in our order English. Uh, I grew up here in Gatorsburg, Maryland in the area, and I uh, basically – we ran into financial services back in 1994 um, at the age of 21. And then, you know, in 2004, I started my own company. Um, I have been, uh, you know, I've gone through crunches of hardship and, and you know, not being able to make sales or not being able to understand the financial industry that well. And I actually found my, you know, share of success, you know, um, as soon, when I started my own company, I had already gone through all the crunches. So um, I literally went from a zero to a uh, multi-million dollar you know, production in terms of um, my production was concerned pretty much uh, pretty fast, actually. Then um, I, you know, um, basically was writing a book you know, back in 2008 uh, called Sell Like Crazy, and it was based on my life story and how I came here, how I struggled. It's, a, it's actually a pretty, um, you know, a, pretty um, neat story, so I thought people could learn from it because I would go prospecting and do different things and I would fail and, you know, it's all about uh, my failures and success in depth so people can understand. So while I was going through that, you know, I was doing speaking and training and you know, doing other things um, and I spoke at congressional conferences, I, I spoke for three different congressmen, for Congressman Stanley Hoyer, Barack Bartlett, Congressman Cummings as, a, as one of the keynotes. I spoke at small business development centers. I spoke at several universities here, uh, between here and Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania area. And one congressman was so impressed with my story and, and how I was helping business owners grow that he took a flag and flew it over country capital. But during all of this was going on, you know, I was watching my grandfather. You know, he, he's 95 today. He does yoga, meditation on a daily basis. So I thought, Hmm. I, I just wonder because at the time when I was doing speaking, I was actually uh, taking um, analogy of Mount Everest, and that's how I started, you know, developing the idea of speaking. So I thought Mount Everest, and I always like to bring back home, you know, and you know because I'm half Indian, half American, so I figured let's mix the two. So when I was looking at my grandfather and doing this, doing this uh, speaking period and, and so forth in two, uh, between 2008 to 2012. And when I was finishing my book, uh, Sell Like Crazy, I thought it would be cool to just kind of see uh, in a hitter target market where at the same time, um, see if I can turn this into rules. Because as a financial guy, I like, you know, um, concreteness. And I know the ho um, holistic world, you know, so far, yoga, meditation, has been very soft. It's touchy-feely, you know, but you really can't, as a business owner, put your finger around it or hands around it. So I thought, if I can turn this into rules, you know, that would be cool. So I started doing some combinations of, I looked at chakras immediately because my grandfather does yoga meditation every day. And that's what my, you know, next book that's coming out in the next 15, 20 days is about called Financial Chakras. It's about, you know, it's financial chakras because uh, of 
you know, few reasons. Number one, um, you know, um, I looked at trackers and I said, if I can turn them into rules, that would be the coolest thing ever. So I started doing different combinations, different things, and what I found is there's actually one combination that's definitively true to make decisions. And because every decision affects you financially, whether it's positive or negative, it's financial chakras. And, you know, uh, that's pretty much, you know, how I came about this entire uh, thing. And then as a financial chakra, as an organization, what we do is is an external showing of what this decision-making process is. Because many times, you know, business owners or entrepreneurs or individuals, they end up making decisions that are wrong, you know, or, or they end up making decisions that are absolutely fabulous sometimes. But either way, and the question is, why is it that sometimes somebody makes the right decision, and how do you know that if you make the wrong decision ahead of time? And in the financial world, there's a concept called, um, you know, like uh, uh, grow and protect. So the question became, was if I can show somebody in a realistic way, in a concrete manner, that you don't have to go backwards. You know, you can if you want to, and that's your choice. Um, but what I have found in the studies that I've done over, you know, 20 some years at this point, being in the financial world, every single person I've studied, they have one thing in common. They always grow and then they protect. They always grow and then they protect what they have, and they are really, really good at that. And so I thought if I can show that in a, uh, using chakras, you know, how you can make those decisions in a correct way and make sure that you can go forward. Like, you know, um, uh, sometimes the clients come to me and they say to me, hey, Ash, you know, I, I need, uh, like I, I had a client who came to me and said, hey, Ash, I want to do this, a friend of mine, right? And, and I said, well, let's kind of think it through. And then when I took them through my process, they literally, uh, I mean, it was a $10,000 mistake that we avoided, you know, uh, with, with this friend of mine. Um, and of course, that husband calls me up later on and says, "Hey, thank you so much, Ash, for you know not uh, telling, uh, really talking them through that you know situation." Um, so that kind of thing, you know. So I came up with this whole idea, and now it's you know it's actually a uh, something very wonderful thing people should learn about. So that's how, that's you know a little bit about me and a little bit about how I came about all these things. And I love that concept to take. Um, something that is kind of esoteric um, and a little bit harder to, uh, you know, put in a step-by-step process and, and create out of that the different steps that you can follow to be able to uh, actually reach financial stability. In fact, I love what it says on your website. Uh, you help people take their tra- tranquil path to financial nirvana. Um, I'd love for you to talk yes. to us a little bit more about that. What what does it mean to reach financial nirvana? That's a great question. So, as a uh, holy, so what we call you know, our our farm financial chakra, is our whole goal is to uh, we are a holistic financial wellness company where somebody comes to us, they can get help in three different stages. You know, financial matters, business development, and health and wellness all in one place. You know, so. Our goal always is to help people reach financial nirvana. So the financial nirvana, you know, nirvana means different things to different people. So just think about it as if you talk to a yogi, you know, they think nirvana is, you know, maybe in the state of happiness, right? Uh, if you talk to a, um, let's say, somebody who is involved in a materialistic world, and uh, to them, you know, nirvana means having all these material items, you know, versus uh, if you look at in reality, you know, what is financial nirvana is nirvanic state, a true nirvanic state is when your crown chakra is at, in your lotus is actually at its peak, at its full potential. Meaning if you have experienced everything you can, you are free from the materialistic world, you know, and you have literally, you know, realized that you are born to give something back. But to give something back, you have to have something to give something back. So many times people say, oh, look, I want to give a million dollars to charity. But the problem is if you don't have a million dollars, you cannot give a million dollars that you don't have. Right? So nirvana state, financial nirvana means having the abundance, financial abundance that you require 
in order for you to do what you want, when you want, how you want to do it, and what uh, you know, whatever it is that you want to do, who do you want to do it with, you know, uh, where do you want to go? Maybe if you want to go travel, we can do that. No problem. You can just pick up the luggage and go. Uh, and if you wanted to have a house, no problem. You can go buy a house, right? Um, and, and things of that nature. So Nirvana, financial Nirvana, is a, is in a place where you don't have to think about, you know, um, uh, financial stuckness, if you will, uh, at this point in time. And you can truly just enjoy that life that you want, uh, you know, whatever way, shape, or form that you want to design and feel that happiness of knowing and, and having that certainty of knowing, you know, by having all your chakras in an alignment in a way so that you go, you know what, I feel abundant, I have enough, I can take care of myself, and I can give back whatever I want, and I can give back in any way, shape, or form I want. And that tru- truly means financial nirvana. You are abundantly wealthy, you know, mind, body, and soul in all aspects of life, you know. So financial nirvana means more than just finances. You know, finances is one part of it, but it's not everything. And I think that's what I like most about the whole holistic financial wellness is taking a look at your whole life so that it isn't just a matter of being like Scrooge McDuck, you know, and having a giant vat of money you go swimming through, but that you actually are reaching the goals and the plans that are important to you to advance your life and help you live the best life. I think that's awesome. Talk to us a little bit, though. What happens if we aren't on a path towards financial nirvana? What does a person experience? <laughs> That's a great question. So let me give you an example of, you know, what I run into. You know, as you know that many retirees, you know, people who retire today, the number one fear is running out of money, you know, and that's the fact. Uh, many business owners I meet, uh, entrepreneurs I meet, you know, they want to have, you know, life of abundance. Um, but what, what I find oftentimes than not is that they simply just, you know, are trying to make it, and they are, for instance, you know, they're spending, you know, money, investing money in themselves, in in, in programs and different things that um, is not ne- necessary or the timing is not correct. And so what happens is, when that happens, is that way the dollar basically gets wasted. So, for instance, um, to give a good example of a great person, let's say Warren Buffett in this, in this case, in he is the typhoon of the financial world. Let's use that. Um, and whenever he makes a decision, you know, he typically takes his time uh, to uh, say yes to whatever that may be. But he does it in a strategic manner. He really takes his time and think about and make sure that he whatever that he's going to buy fits into his puzzle. The reason being, you know, he knows two things. One. He knows the rule of compound interest. So basically he says if you take family to divide by the interest you want, he tells you how long it takes your money to double. So if you were to use that in business, it would be the same thing that in, in business it would be the same problem. You know, you know, in terms of the business was concerned, if you take your efforts, right, and the, the, the type of effort that you put in to grow your business, it's going to take you a certain amount of time, um, time to double that effort. But same, what most people don't know is that same thing happens when you are when you are not in the, in the um, uh, reaching the financial environment. Meaning, interest can uh, uh, affect you negatively as much as it affects you positively. So, if, for instance, um, you are making a decision that's constantly wrong, you know, you are actually going to end up going down just as fast, right? So, so financial dependency keeps in at that point, and what happens is that, you know, you have lack of money, when you go to ATM, there's nothing comes out, you know, uh, if you go to, uh, you know, when you look at your retirement account, there's not much there, you know, when you are, um, you know, looking at, uh, and then when you want to make your dreams come true, like, you want to buy a house. Well, I mean, it's nice that, you know, you have that feeling and you really do want to buy a house, but if you don't have the money or the credit score or the income and other things that are necessary for you to have that house, it's not going to be possible, you know. So 
what happens is when you don't have it, now what happens is exactly the opposite of financial nirvana, right? It's it really financial, you know, um, uh, it basically it's depressing, to be honest. Like, I think, you know, if you really think about it for a moment, you know, um, it's depressing because of the fact that, um, you know, you want this, but you can't have it because you, most people end up spending money in the wrong direction initially. So if you just stop and think and really apply the rules that we are teaching, you know, that can, uh, it can really help in many different ways. But financial, you know, not being able to reach financial nirvana and then you go negative like that. And I've seen, I mean, I've seen a 65-year-old couple, you know, don't have any money in the retirement account. So don't have any, any money saved up. And now they're panicking. I'm dealing with somebody right now owns a whole bunch of businesses, but doesn't have anything to show for it. He is 66 years old. And he does not have any money uh, saved up. He has business, which is pretty much not worth that much. You know, and he doesn't have any emergency accounts. He doesn't have any investments. He doesn't have any retirement accounts. And now he's in a panic mode. Uh, technically, I mean, basically. You know, and now he's scrambling, you know, all over the place. He's getting involved in this and getting involved in that and trying to do this, and, and he's not getting anywhere. He's basically stuck um, on a path and trying to, you know, achieve. But, you know, that's what happens. You know, he wants to move. He can't. He wants to do things. He can't. And uh, He wants to buy something for his wife. He can't. And that's what mm-hmm. happens when you are in the opposite end of the spectrum, basically. I mean... Yeah, and I think that time and time, you know, and that's definitely a place you don't want to be, uh, whether it be no. in the middle part of your life or especially at retirement, is a place where uh, every day is a struggle to figure out how am I going to make it to the next level, how am I going to make it through the next day. It's uh, definitely a place you don't want to go, and so I think that uh, following your teachings and uh, really putting your finances in order so that you can live the life of your own personal abundance. I love that concept, you know, what what abundance means to you, that you can live that life, and that you can live that life for the rest of your life and not be at that place and then, uh, you know, not have planned well for the entirety of your life. So, Ash, I really appreciate that. Um, You know, you're welcome. I I, I know that you had said that you would love to work one-on-one with people, Um and uh, what you said was is that if people will contact you via email, you would actually be willing to set up a person in person or over the phone appointment with them to uh, to talk to them about how they can reach financial nirvana. And so, yes. uh, Ash's, Ash's email address is ash at financialchakras dot com. That's a s h at sign. That's the shift, hold down the two, if you don't know what an at sign is. Uh, F-I-N-A-N-C-I-A-L-C-H-A-K-R-A-S dot com. Ash at financialchakras dot com. I encourage you to uh, contact Ash and set up your personal one-on-one appointment so that he can talk to you about specifics for your life to get you on the tranquil path to financial nirvana. Um, Ash, uh, before we leave here, let's leave people something that they can do, an action they could take right now, today, or at the very latest of this week, that could help them head in that right direction towards financial nirvana. What would be something somebody could do? So, you know, somebody, uh, as simple as this, you know, may sound, you know, if you can develop a one it's a simple, positive habit that will just take you into, into your next step, whatever that is. Maybe the next step for you is setting goals for your family. Maybe the next step is, hey, you know what? I'm just going to save a dollar tomorrow. You know, I'm just, I'm, instead of drinking coffee, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to drink water, right? You know, um, maybe, you know, you just keep the coffee, right? Or something of that nature. Um, and just saving that dollar would be the first step, you know, for some people. For some people, it's just saying to somebody, saying, hey, you know what, I love you. I want to thank you 
you know, uh, thank you for helping. Thank you for being in my life, you know, be, being in that uh, sense, in the, in the next step, you know. Uh, for some of the people, it may be, you know, a business, you know, oriented. Maybe they want to reach the next level in their business, you know. So whatever that next step is, I would encourage people to take one small step and move towards the, the next goal, whatever that is. And can I say one more thing about this? You know, so because uh, many times people come to us and they say to us, financial chakras, you know, what can you really do? So I just want to throw in an example. Can I do that for, sure. uh, to these, for these people yeah. so they can understand a little bit better? So give me a good example. One person came to me. They are a doctor. They came to me and they said, well, I need, need to have retirement accounts set up and things of the nature. And I said, sure, no problem. They had a retirement account. They, had, they were dealing with somebody for 20 some years, but they were discontent. They were not happy with them for whatever reason. So we started talking and doing some, you know, digging. What I found is they were short by a thousand bucks a month. So when they came to us, you know, they were like, "What do I do?" They were stressed out. They didn't know what's going on. The statements were not looking so good and so forth. So I said, "Well, first of all, you know, you need to just chill out. You know, you need to really relax." So we gave them like a certificate to a massage, you know, a place that we know here locally. That was the first thing I said, that you need to really just go and have a good time there, you know. Um, the second thing is what we figured out was that their business, they are basically falling short by about a thousand bucks a month, is what they were falling short by. So obviously they need to understand how to make more money, number one, and they also need to know how to save more money. So making more money by we actually connected them with the right, you know, um, advisor in terms of a coach who was concerned. We connected them with the right person that they were looking for, number two. And then number three, I started taking a look at their finances. And when I started digging, what I found out is that in their business, they were overspending on essential expenses. Like by, you know, did you know we saved them $2,000 a month in order for them to, you know, now we can reach their goal. They're happy. They're, you know, growing their business. And now they're reaching their financial nirvana at a much faster rate than they could have ever imagined on their own. That's awesome. So, yeah, but that's what we do for people when they come to us. You know, that's why they, need, they, can, they can email me and they can find out more or they can, you know, give me a call if they want to. You can, you know, give my cell phone number. Uh, should I do it to them? Do you sure. think I should give yeah. them my cell phone number or should I? Yeah, give okay, me your so number. for those who are, yeah, this is only for those who are serious and truly are interested. So my uh, phone, my cell phone is 410 493 3358. Or you can call our, you know, um, um, I guess our hotline uh, at uh, 929 Chakra. Again, it's 929 Chakra. You can call that number or you can call me directly on my cell phone at 410. 410- Four nine three 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 five eight, and we'll be happy to connect you with our surfers and yogis and yogi needs who can truly truly help you. You know our surfers are there to guide you. I'm your surfer in this case to help, uh, to guide you, and uh, and we can also connect you with the right yogi and yogi needs that can truly make a big difference in your in your life. And I look forward to uh, you know to your phone call. You know if you shall choose to make that phone call. I encourage all of you to email or call Ash and really, really start getting your financial life in order. Ash, thank you so much for taking the time today to be on the show and to share with us some uh, really good tips on how to live a more solid and abundant financial life. Thank you. Thanks, Ash. I hope you have a great day. You too. That's what we want to help you do. You know that Kathy and I, the name of our company is Thrive Business Development, and our website is wehelpyouthrive.com. That's what we live to do. We are here to help you thrive. We want to help you just like we've helped Carol and Ash and many others to live out the authority, the expert that is you, and be the best you that you can be into the world. Shine your unique brilliance. I've told you many times over, and I'm going to tell you again, you are uniquely brilliant. 
You were created for a purpose. The world needs you. And Kathy and I are here to help. We are here to help you no longer be the best kept secret in your industry, but to shine your unique brilliance so that the world knows and sees you as the authority that you are. We're going to take another quick commercial break, and then we've got one more exciting guest coming up for you in this special 90-minute episode of Thriving Entrepreneur. Hi, I'm Sandra Yancey, founder and CEO of eWomen Network. One of my mottos for business owners is, you can't do it alone. Whether you're in the startup stage of your business or you're scaling, you can't grow without relationships to provide support, wisdom, and new customers. eWomen Network is your home to connect with other women entrepreneurs who have been where you are or are experiencing the same challenges. We have chapters across the U.S. and Canada that have monthly events featuring our trademarked process called Accelerated Networking to ensure you get the contacts, resources, and leads you need to grow your business. And once you become a member, you get many benefits, including two one-on-one coaching sessions, unlimited access to our membership database, your own personal profile page, and discounts on products and services with our business partners, such as UPS and American Express Open. Join the eWomen Network community and let us help you live your dream. For details, visit eWomenNetwork.com. Are you ready to be a celebrity expert in your field? Are you your own best kept secret? Do you have talents you want to share with the world? Are you ready to be seen as an authority? Do you have a message you need to share with the world? You know to your core you can help people if you could just reach them. Kathy and I want to help you share your unique brilliance with the world. Are you ready for this? How would you like to be recognized on top media outlets? What would becoming an Amazon bestseller do for your business? How many people could you inspire? And it doesn't take a lifetime. It doesn't take years. It doesn't take months. In fact, in just 60 minutes, you will become a celebrity expert in your field. In 30 days, you will be a best-selling author, and you will be seen on NBC, CBS, ABC, CNN, Fox, and the Wall Street Journal. How does this work? Will you be interviewed on our show, Thriving Entrepreneur, which will then be broadcast on Blog Talk Radio, iTunes, Stitcher, and many others, as well as promoted to a network that has a database of over 500,000 people. Your expert interview will be published published in your very own book, which is guaranteed to hit best-selling author status on Amazon. Your name and the book title will appear in major media outlets, including ABC, NBC, Fox, CNN. We can guarantee that. Plus, as a bonus, you'll get a custom social media package to promote your book and an MP3 of your interview with five key tips on how you can repurpose the content for marketing and sales. Don't be the best kept secret. Get ready to play an A game and be the authority in your field. Go to wehelpyouthrive.com and click on the authority package to get yours today. This is the EWN Radio Network. Welcome back to Thriving Entrepreneur. This is Steve, and thank you for sticking with us for our special 90-minute extended episode of Thriving Entrepreneur. We're hoping that today you have indeed really picked up some great points, both with Carol as well as with Ash, um, and that you can check them out. Uh, You can check out Carol Stanley at carolstanley.org, and you can check out Ash at the financial chakra.com so financial chakras.com the not the word the but their website financial chakras.com carolstanley.org check them out they both actually even offered here on the show to take your phone calls and help you directly 
be more, to do more, and to be better. And we want to keep that rolling. I was blessed to be able to meet with one of our uh, good friends from up in Seattle while I was at conference, and we sat down with the hubbub and the people in the background, and we actually recorded, specially for you, a talk that has specifically to do with your mindset surrounding money. I encourage you to keep that pen and paper out and listen in as Teresa Lieutenant explains to us how we can have the best and strongest mental approach to our finances. Listen in as we talk more about that here with Teresa Lieutenant. Hi, this is Stephen. Welcome to Thriving Entrepreneur. I have today with me Teresa Lieutenant. Um, now I'm going to tell you right up front, although that sounds English, it's spelled like we here in America would spell it. Um, and we want to talk to you today and help you out. So rather than me spill the beans, Teresa is going to actually tell us a little bit first about herself. Teresa, what, um, you know, tell us what brought you to this point. Okay, thanks, Steve. Love being here today. So um, I am a woman who's had 30 years of experience talking to people about their money. And I've learned that people have certain habits that are maybe not so positive, and they have certain thoughts about money and what it is that aren't exactly helpful to what they really want to do, be, or have in their life. So as a financial planner, giving advice and helping people plan their futures, I suddenly realized a couple of years ago, really prompted by 2008 and all of the problems that people had financially, that we really need to focus some more attention on the internal relationship with money, our psychology around money. And why, what is the connection, like connecting the dots between who we are really inside and the results that we can create or that we experience around our financial uh, life? So that's what I've become really passionate about, helping people connect their, the dots so that they can have better results, so that they can have more of what they want. And, of course, you know, in our culture, in America, we all are after the almighty dollar. We want more because more means we can have better experiences or different experiences. We can give more, like back to our community. We can create lives for our children that we know is possible. So we, it's, it's something more than just having things. You know, and that's what I want to help people really realize is right. that what can you do with your money that you feel passionate about, that you feel really excited for? Then let's make sure that we get your psychology in the right place, your money mindset. And that way you're going to have more chance of having it all. Okay. So, um, you know, everybody has money. Yeah. Little or small, right? Um, and, and and even when they don't have money, the bills steep, still keep coming. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, so let's say we're in a really tall building, and um, we're in an, in an express elevator that's going to give us four or five minutes to get to the top. Yes. Um, and I've been struggling with with my money mindset. Mm -hmm. um, what 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 would be your advice to me? Just totally having never met me, know nothing about me. What would be the first thing you would you know talk to me about? With sure. So I I start everybody with the first three secrets of your money mindset, getting it in the right place. And so secret number one is to tell the truth about your history with money, to really turn around and look back and face those mistakes. Uh, because when we do, then we can forgive ourselves and we can learn from them. You know, we human beings, we have this way that we ta that we um, try to cope with things that we don't like that ha that we did. You know, and those things are called maybe we overdrink or we watch television or we avoid in some way. But when you really turn around and say, you know what, I made a mistake when I bought that house, and this is why it happened. Then you can learn from those things. You can learn how, well, maybe I'm a little bit impulsive when it comes to making big financial decisions. Or maybe I tend to want something that someone else wants, and I think I should have it too. 
So look at the truth and do a little analysis about who you are and how, whether or not that was, you know, what was your responsibility for it? So the second secret is looking at how you are living your life from a, of a place of should. You know, like I, we all grow up, our parents saying, you should say thank you. You should wipe your feet before you come in the house. But we have that regarding money and how we should, our financial lifestyle, right? And I, referring to buying that bigger house or that bigger car. So, you know, if your best friend is driving a Porsche, and you like lust for that Porsche because everybody looks at you from, wow, you're amazing, you're cool because you have that. But then you can't put the money aside for your kid's college education or you don't have the money to invest in that next marketing plan for your business. So that's the, sh the should. So are you living from shoulds and what could you do instead? of buying the big car or the big house or going on the expensive vacation. That's all fine, but get your priorities straight. Get your passions and your coulds in life going. Okay. And then the third thing is, is to, I like to say it this way, divorce your fear and marry your courage. Nice. Because fear, we all have some fears around financial life or money and what it isn't or is so I like to help people be courageous we all have what I call money mojo those things inside of us that are powerful and creative and and opportunistic so let's apply that to your financial decisions with courage and heart and um, you know excitement and let's let go of the fear so that you can really have what you want I like that so, number one was... Um, face, face your financial fiascos and, yeah. and forgive yourself about them. Get real and then let it go. Let it uh, go. Yeah. Yes, and, and learn two. from them. And then number two was... Number two is look at what shoulds you're living in your life and shift that to living what could you do with your money. I have a friend that actually uses the phrase, you know, you're shooting yourself. Again. You're shooting yourself. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Okay. And then and number three is? And number three is do what you can to let go of your fear and use your courage. So divorce your fear and marry your courage. Be courageous with what you're creating financially. Okay. So, um, you know, the, the reverse of that is true. Mm -hmm. If we don't do this kind of a thing, yes, um, we'll... To, to, to use the old phrase, if you keep doing what you've always done, you're going to keep getting what you've always got. Exactly. You know, the definition of insanity is to continue to repeat the mistake you're making. That's right. What happens to us if you don't uh, fix this? Well, what I find is many people who are sort of at a plateau and they're frustrated and they feel hopeless because they have ideas and, and visions and goals that they want to achieve, but they don't know how to get from where they are now to where they want to go. And that's especially true regarding money. And so money can be extremely frustrating. It's the number one stress in marriages. It's the reason most early couples get divorces, you know, new married couples, because there's a lack of understanding about how you can really make your internal relationship with money, how you can shift it and make it better and make it work for you. I've always told people in, in my financial work, every individual deserves a personal plan because we're all individual people. And that's what, what I help people learn about their psychology with money. It's unique. And so, therefore, you can learn to use your psychology in a positive way. Great. So, Teresa, somebody has gotten just enough information now that they know that they don't know what they know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, what can they do to get further information from you, to get you to help them to, to deal with these kind of things? Sure. So you can connect with me on Facebook at Reinventing Her. And my website is www.reinventingher.com. And I also have a LinkedIn profile as well. I, I'm offering online programs currently, so you can find links to that. Uh, what I'm really working on is getting more awareness around this whole idea of spending some time. You know, we, we all know we should, should have a budget or we should at least manage our money and take some time to, to look at our finances, know what they all mean. 
But I, I'm also encouraging people and increasing awareness around learning more about your psychology with money so that you can use it to your advantage instead of having it keeping you in a place where you don't want to be. So check me out on my website, and then you find lots of places to connect with me from there. Okay, and that's reinventing herself. Her. Just oh, reinventing, reinventing her. her, all one word, .com. Reinventing her, .com. Right. Okay, so um, I, I like to always leave people with an action, something yes. they can do. So right now, today, this week, what's the number one first thing that a person can do to start moving in the right direction? It's excellent. So what I invite everyone listening to do is take some time today to sit down with a piece of paper and ask yourself this question. What do I really want with my financial life? And when you, you might have several things. You might have something in the category of, well, I want to buy uh, something for my daughter or I want to go somewhere. So don't worry so much about the answers. It's, I say that desire is the doorway to reinvention. And so allowing yourself to want something, a new something, a new way of being, a new experience, that gets your juices going. And then there's action steps after that. So ask, what do I really want with my financial life? Mm. Ask yourself, what do you really want? And I encourage you to check out Reinventing Her. Dot com. Teresa, thanks so much for taking the time with us today. We're here live at the EWN conference, um, and uh, you can hear the noise in the background. People are having a great time. I appreciate you just stepping away for 10, 12 minutes here and talking with us. Thank you. My pleasure, Steve. Have a great day. Thank you. I appreciate it so much getting to be able to talk with Teresa and have her really bring home some of those things that often we don't think about. Things like, for example, Are you doing things because you should do them? You know, we have a phrase for that. Are you shoulding yourself? You don't want to do things just because they're what you're supposed to do. You want to know the reasons why, and then you want to be fully invested in your life, especially when it comes into the area of finances. You don't want to just go out and make financial decisions because somebody has told you that's what you should do um, or because that's the way that it used to work. The concepts of financial investing, the concepts of being wise in our business with our money are things that are constantly growing, evolving, and changing. I mean, 20 years ago, a person didn't have in their budget a social media marketing campaign. You know, if somebody had said that to you, A, it didn't exist, and B, they would have thought you were crazy to throw money at the Internet. Um, Whereas you go forward in time about five years from that, People were throwing money left and right at the Internet, um, and then they lost a whole lot of money. The the Internet uh, investment bubble burst, and, um, you know, we've seen the outcome of those kind of things as well. It is always wise to know the information and to grow and move with the changing times. That's what these experts that I bring to you here are for. That's why folks like Teresa, folks like Ash, folks like Carol come onto the show to share their brilliance with you. And I want to let you know, um, you've heard the ad run a couple of times in here, but, you know, ads are pre-recorded and can be a little impersonal. And I want to let you know, um, you know, Kathy and I, we believe in you. Those of you that we've met and those of you that we haven't been honored to meet yet, we see in you the brilliant, wonderful expert that needs to be exposed to the world. And we want to help you thrive. We help you thrive.com. That's what we're here for. Um, it, it is, of course, what we do for a business, but quite frankly, um, it's what we really want to do in life. It's our passion. It's what makes us thrive, is helping other people really find, embrace, and live their life in a place of passion. Um, you know, it's really good for you to know that if you need the help, 
there are people here that can help you. You don't need to be the best kept secret in your industry. What you need is exposure. You need to know how to come on the radio with me and, and give a good interview. What do, what, what kind of things differentiate between having a good interview and being somebody who was just, you know, yeah, they were on. You know what I mean? Uh, what kind of things make people want to do business with you when they're listening to radio interviews, television interviews, all of those kind of things? Those are the kind of things we can do to help you out. We can show you how to be the go-to expert in your field so that when local media thinks of you, thinks you know of a situation, they think of you. We want to help you get seen on ABC, NBC, CBS, Fox, The Wall Street Journal, CNN, places like that. We want to help you write and put out a bestseller on Amazon. We want to take you through our training course that helps you learn how to really, truly, effectively present yourself in video. And then, like I said before, we want to help you know how to be the person that your local media is going to contact to be the expert in your industry. If you're interested in that, we're interested in that. We help you thrive.com. Kathy and I are here for you. We believe in you. And we appreciate the time that you take out of your day to listen in to Thriving Entrepreneur and know that you are uniquely brilliant. You were created for a purpose. The world needs you. We are here to help. Feel free to contact us anytime. And in the meantime, go out and live your life as a thriving entrepreneur every day. Have a great week. Thanks for listening to Thriving Entrepreneur today. If you want to get your question answered, send an email to questions at wehelpyouthrive.com. We look forward to you joining us again next time. Are you ready to be a celebrity expert in your field? Are you your own best kept secret? Do you have talents you want to share with the world? Are you ready to be seen as an authority? Do you have a message you need to share with the world? You know to your core you can help people if you could just reach them. Kathy and I want to help you share your unique brilliance with the world. Are you ready for this? How would you like to be recognized on top media outlets? What would becoming an Amazon bestseller do for your business? How many people could you inspire? And it doesn't take a lifetime. It doesn't take years. It doesn't take months. In fact, in just 60 minutes, you will become a celebrity expert in your field. In 30 days, you will be a best-selling author, and you will be seen on NBC, CBS, ABC, CNN, Fox, and the Wall Street Journal. How does this work? Will you be interviewed on our show, Thriving Entrepreneur, which will then be broadcast on Blog Talk Radio, iTunes, Stitcher, and many others, as well as promoted to a network that has a database of over 500,000 people. Your expert interview will be published in your very own book, which is guaranteed to hit best-selling author status on Amazon. Your name and the book title will appear in major media outlets, including ABC, NBC, Fox, CNN. We can guarantee that. Plus, as a bonus, you'll get a custom social media package to promote your book and an MP3 of your interview with five key tips on how you can repurpose the content for marketing and sales. Don't be the best kept secret. Get ready to play an A game and be the authority in your field. Go to wehelpyouthrive.com and click on the authority package to get yours today.